Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. We are discussing on hydrological parameters. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about infiltration, wherein we have uh, discussed about different infiltration indexes and we were gone through uh, an example. Okay. Today also we will uh, do some examples on uh, phi index and W index. Okay. So let's start the lecture with one an example on infiltration index. The example is a storm with a 15 centimeter precipitation produced a direct runoff of 8.7 centimeter. The time distribution of the storm is given and with this data we have to estimate the phi index for this particular storm. We are given with the time from the start in hour and we have also incremental rainfall. In this example, we have incremental rainfall. Okay, so with respect to the time, the rainfall increment is given. It is not a rate. So, uh, at the first hour, the rainfall was 0.6. After an hour, at the second hour, 1.35, 2.25, 3.45, 2.7, 2.4, 1 1.5, and 0.75. So, these are the rainfalls. And according to this data, now we have to estimate the phi index value. Well, in previous lecture, uh, we would have a rate of rainfall. So, we can assume a phi index value. But here we do not have that rate value. Okay. So first of all, we have to find the W index. So from that we can go further. So for the W index, what we will need? We need P, R, SR, and TR, wherein P is the precipitation that is given. So total precipitation is 15 centimeter. We are given with the direct runoff that is 8.7 centimeter. There is no any mention about surface retention. So SR will be 0 and TR is the total time duration for the rainfall that is 8 hour. So let's substitute the values 15 minus 8.7 minus 0 upon 8. The final we will get the value of wi that is 0 0.7875 centimeter per hour well here we have the wi that is w index okay we have discussed that the phi index has to be somewhat more than the w index so now we have one base to find out the phi index so we can assume that the phi index would be more than this w index. Okay. So phi index would be a little more than 0 0.7875 centimeter per hour. Okay. So now we have the base value 0 0.7875 centimeter per hour. So now the phi index is equal to total infiltration during the excess rainfall this term is most important that total infiltration but during the period of excess rainfall now how we will consider the excess rainfall okay so for that we have to make one calculation that is the total infiltration minus the infiltration during the period when there is no excessive rainfall now the excessive rainfall limit is a W index that we have assumed that is 0 0.7875. Okay, so below the value of that, whatever the increment is, is considered as the no excess rainfall data. So in the table, the first hour of the rainfall and the last hour of the rainfall is below the 0 0.7875 centimeter okay so from the calculation of phi index this two value has to be neglected okay 
So find x, let's substitute the values. Okay. The period during the excessive rainfall at first hour and the last hour, the duration, the rainfall is below the excess rainfall. So that we have to uh, deduct this two hour from the total hour. So the excessive rainfall hours or excessive rainfall period is total eight hour minus two hour of no excess rainfall. So eight minus two, that is six hours. So our period of excess rainfall would be six hour. Then total infiltration, that is P minus R. The precipitation minus runoff will be the total infiltration. So 15 is the precipitation and 8.7 that is the runoff. So that total infiltration that is 6.3 centimeter. Now after that the infiltration during the period when no excess rainfall that is 0.6 plus 0.75. These two are the value which is below the 0 0.7875. So total uh, infiltration during this hour that is 1.35 centimeter. So we have to deduct this value from the total infiltration. Then the final 5 index would be 6.3 minus 1.35 divided by 6 that is the period of excessive rainfall. So the phi index is 0 0.825 centimeter per hour. Now this we got from such calculation but also we have to check that this phi index is accurate or not. So for that we have to do one more check process. So to get the check of this value we have to apply a formula that is runoff r is equal to sigma i minus phi index into t. Well, here we got the phi index value that is 0 0.825. Okay, and the in i is the incremental rainfall. So for that, we have already deducted 0 0.6 and 0 0.75. That is the first rainfall data and the last hour rainfall data. So in between that we have 1.35, 2.25, 3.45, 2.7, 2.4 and 1.5 as the incremental rainfall, effective incremental rainfall. Okay, so that value we will substitute in this formula. So, so 1.35 minus 0.825 plus 2.25 minus 0.825 plus 3.45 minus 0.825 up to up to at 1.5 minus 0.825 into total duration of time. Here the time duration is 1 1 hour gap. So that's why we have put the 1 hour for the incremental rainfall. So after calculating these values, okay, we got the runoff as a 8.7. That is already mentioned in given data. So the phi index that we have estimated is 0.825. That is the perfect value for this kind of data. Okay. So final phi index is 0 0.825 centimeter per hour. So this was the first example. Okay. Next, let's look out some other examples which is different from this method. A catchment area of 30 km square has one recording gauge. During a storm, the following mass curve of rainfall was recorded. Now, if the volume of the runoff due to the storm measured is 1.2 into 10 raised to 6 meter cube, then we have to estimate the phi index for this catchment. We have the data, the time from, the starting of the storm, and in this example, we have accumulated rainfall. And also, we are not given with the direct runoff value. Here we have the volume of runoff. So as a given data, we can say we have only total runoff 
and we have the catchment area that is 30 km square. So we can find the total runoff by having a total runoff volume upon the catchment area. So total runoff is 1.2 into 10 raised to 6 that is in meter cube divided by 30 that is in kilometer square. So we have to convert this kilometer square into meter square. So 30 into 10 raised to 6. So that would be 0 0.04 meter. But we need the data of runoff in millimeter as we have accumulated rainfall in millimeter. So R is equals to 40 mm. The total rainfall at the end of 14 hours that is 90 millimeter. So here accumulated rainfall is given that's why we are taking this final rainfall as a total rainfall. Now total infiltration that is P minus R precipitation minus runoff. Precipitation is 90 mm and runoff is 40 mm. So the total infiltration that is 50 millimeter. So now we can find out W index value that is P minus R upon TR. We can also uh, in this formula we have neglected SR value just because there is no mention about surface retention. So SR would be 0. So W index is P minus R upon TR where P is equals to 90 minus runoff is equals to 40 and TR that is the total time duration of the storm that is 14 hour. So W index is the 3.57. So the W index is 3.57 millimeter per hour. Well, Find x has to be somewhat more than the W index as we have discussed earlier. So the find x would be a little more than 3.57 millimeter per hour. But this is per hour, per one hour. But here in the example, we are given with the time duration of two hour. So according to that, the infiltration for every two hour interval would be Literally more than 2 into 3.57. So we can say that the find x would be slightly more than 2 into 3.57, that is 7.14 millimeter. So from the given data, we have to neglect the values that is below 7.14 millimeter. But also, we are given with the accumulated rainfall. We do not have set incremental rainfall so that we can find out each and every two hour rainfall. Here the rainfall is accumulated. So let's find out the incremental rainfall. So that is at the first stage in the first two hour or, or we can say at the first point initial point the rainfall would be zero. That's why here the dash mentioned. Okay, at the end of the two hour, the rainfall is six millimeter. Now, after at the end of two to four hour time interval, that is of particular two hour time interval, the incremental rainfall would be 17 minus six. So that is 11 mm. So we can say the rainfall between two to four hour that would be 11 mm. So the rainfall between four to six hour that is 57 minus 17 that is 40 mm. In between six to eight, 70 minus 57 that is 13 mm. Eight to 10, 81 minus 17, 11. 87 minus 81, six. 90 minus 87 that is 3. So now we are having in particular 2 hours how much rainfall is increased so that we can find out the phi index value. Now W index is 7.14 for every 2 hour. Now from this particular data we have to neglect those values which is below 7.40. That is at 2 over 12 and 40. 
okay so from the table incremental rainfall during the first interval that is 0 to 2 hour and the last two intervals that is 10 to 12 hour and 12 to 14 hour are less than 7.5 which will be in effect t so the time period during the excess rain that is total 14 hour minus three intervals of two hour that is total six hour so 14 minus six so the time period during the excessive rainfall that is eight hour now to find out the phi index the formula is total infiltration during the period of excess rainfall divided by period of excessive rainfall well we have total infiltration so total infiltration minus infiltration during the period of no excessive rainfall will give you the total infiltration during the excessive rain t minus r would be the total infiltration that is 50 mm then infiltration during the no excess rainfall that is 6 6 plus 3 which is given in the table so total infiltration would be 15 millimeter so find x is equals to 50 minus 15 divided by 8 so the phi index would be 4.735 millimeter per hour so for this particular catchment which is having 30 km square area and that recording gauge has recorded the data as per those data the phi index for that catchment would be 4.375 millimeter per hour now i give you one example for practice read this question understand and apply it as we have discussed in this lecture okay thank you so much students for your kind attention i will see you in the next lecture the solution of this question is given in the description okay so you can also check your answer thank you so much for your kind attention